and something changed in my imagination. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us again on this channel. Today we're back with another heartfelt tribute video, and honoring some of the well-known actors who sadly passed away, we'll also take a moment to remember other stars we've recently lost. These legends made incredible contribution to their craft and will be deeply missed. Our thoughts and condolences go out. To theirs, families and friends rest in peace. Before we start, please support our channel by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Thank you. Lady Helen Wogan was the wife of the late Sir Terry Wogan, a beloved Irish broadcaster. Though she maintained a relatively private life, sadly passed away at the age of 88 after a fantastic life, her son has announced. Helen was a supportive figure in her husband's illustrious career, which included his long-running BBC Radio 2 show and hosting Children in Need. The couple married in 1965 and had four children together. Helen largely stayed out of the public eye, focusing on her family and personal life, while Terry became a national treasure. Despite her low profile, she was known for her grace and support throughout Terry's decades in the spotlight. Lady Helen Wogan continues to live privately following Sir Terry Wogan's death in 2016. Rich Homie Kwan was an American rapper known for his melodic flows and contributions to the Southern rap scene. He rose to prominence in 2013 with the hit single, Type of Way, which became a summer anthem and cemented his place in hip hop. He gained further recognition with mixtapes like Still Going In and I Promise I Will Never Stop Going In, featuring hits such as Walk Through and Flex. Quan was also part of the Rich Gang Collective alongside Birdman and Young Thug, helping popularize a new wave of Atlanta rap. His collaborations and solo work established him as a prominent figure in the genre. Though label disputes and legal issues slowed his momentum, Rich Homie Quan remains influential with a dedicated fan base and continued output of music, showcasing his unique style in the trap and melodic rap scene. On September 5, 2024, he passed away at the age of 33 in his Atlanta home from an unknown cause. Paul Harrell was a popular YouTuber and firearms expert known for his detailed and educational videos on gun safety, shooting techniques, and firearm reviews. Harrell, a former U.S. Marine and Army veteran, combined his military experience with a passion for shooting sports to create content that appealed to both novice and experienced gun enthusiasts. His YouTube channel, launched in the mid-2010s, quickly gained a substantial following due to his methodical approach, calm demeanor, and extensive knowledge of firearms and ballistics. Harrell's content covered a wide range of topics, including ammunition testing, historical weapons, and practical shooting scenarios, often with a focus on self-defense. He was widely respected for his commitment to factual information and safety. Paul Harrell passed away from cancer at the age of 58. His death left a void in the online firearms community where he was known as a trusted source of knowledge and a steady authoritative presence. Eric Gilliland was an acclaimed American television producer and writer, known for his work on popular sitcoms. He gained recognition for his contributions to Roseanne, 1988-1997, where he worked as a writer and producer, helping shape the series' success during its original run. His sharp wit and storytelling skills led him to work on other popular shows like The Wonder Years and That 70s Show, further solidifying his reputation in the television industry. Gilliland also served as the showrunner for Roseanne in its later seasons and was involved in several other TV projects, including My Boys and The Jeff Foxworthy Show. His work earned him praise for balancing humor with heartfelt, relatable moments. Eric Gilliland passed away from colon cancer on September 1, 2024, at the age of 62, leaving behind a legacy of beloved television shows that continue to resonate with audiences. 
His contributions to comedy and TV writing will be remembered. James Darren was an American actor, singer, and director, best known for his roles in classic films and television series. Born on June 8, 1936, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Darren rose to fame in the late 1950s with his role as Moondoggy in the Gidget film series, which made him a teen idol. He enjoyed a successful music career, releasing several hit singles, including Goodbye Cruel World, 1961, and Her Royal Majesty, 1962, which reached the Billboard charts. Darren transitioned to television in the 1960s, starring in popular shows like The Time Tunnel and later in Star Trek Deep Space Nine as Vic Fontaine, a holographic lounge singer. He also directed episodes for various TV series, such as T.J. Hooker. On September 2, 2024, Darren died from heart failure in his sleep at Cedars-Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles at the age of 88, leaving behind a legacy as a versatile performer with a lasting impact on film, television, and music. Danielle Moore was an American musical artist best known as the lead vocalist of the UK-based disco and house group Crazy P, formerly known as Crazy Penis. With a career spanning over two decades, Moore's smooth vocals and charismatic stage presence helped define Crazy P's unique blend of electronic music, soul, and disco. The band released several successful albums, including A Night on Earth, 1999, Stop Space Return, 2008, and Age of the Ego, 2019, gaining a strong following in the UK and internationally. Moore was celebrated for her dynamic performances and ability to connect with audiences, contributing to the group's reputation for high-energy live shows. Her work helped push the boundaries of electronic music, blending classic disco with modern sounds. Danielle Moore passed away at the age of 52, leaving behind a legacy of vibrant, feel-good music that continues to inspire fans and musicians alike. Peter Marshall was an American actor, singer, and television personality best known for hosting the iconic game show Hollywood Squares from 1966 to 1981. Born as Ralph Pierre Lecoq, Marshall initially pursued a career in music performing in nightclubs and on Broadway. He appeared in musicals such as Skyscraper and La Cage au Fol, showcasing his versatile talents as a performer. However, it was as the affable host of Hollywood Squares that Marshall became a household name. His humor and charm helped make the show a hit, and he won several daytime Emmy Awards for his work. Beyond Hollywood Squares, he made guest appearances on television shows and continued performing well into his later years. Peter Marshall passed away from kidney failure at his home in Encino, Los Angeles, California, on August 15, 2024, at the age of 98, leaving behind a legacy as one of TV's most beloved game show hosts and a versatile entertainer. Jack Russell was an American vocalist best known as the lead singer of the rock band Great White. Formed in the late 1970s, Great White gained fame in the 1980s and early 1990s with hits like Once Bitten, Twice Shy, Rock Me, and Save Your Love. Russell's powerful bluesy voice was central to the band's success, helping them carve out a niche in the glam metal and hard rock scene. In the 2000s, Russell faced personal struggles, including substance abuse and health issues, but he continued performing with various lineups, even forming his own version of the band, Jack Russell's Great White. His passion for music remained strong despite these challenges. Jack Russell passed away on August 7, 2024, at the age of 63. He is remembered for his contributions to rock music and his distinctive vocal style, leaving a lasting legacy within the genre. Dabney Coleman was an American actor known for his roles in both comedy and drama, often portraying sarcastic or self-absorbed characters. He gained widespread recognition in the 1980s 
with memorable performances in films like Nine to Five Sex, 1980, where he played the misogynistic boss, and Tootsie, 1982, as a sexist television director. His versatility allowed him to succeed in both television and film, earning him a place in Hollywood as a go-to character actor. Coleman also starred in the TV series Buffalo Bill, 1983-1984, and the legal drama The Guardian, 2001-2004, showcasing his range across genres. His dry wit and strong screen presence made him a familiar face in American entertainment for over five decades. Dabney Coleman passed away at his home in Santa Monica, California, at age 92, of cardiac arrest due to dysphagia and heart failure, leaving behind a legacy as a talented and versatile actor beloved for his sharp comedic timing and memorable performances. David Soule was an American actor and singer best known for his role as Detective Ken Hutch Hutchinson in the iconic 1970s TV series Star Sky and Hutch. His portrayal of the cool, laid-back detective alongside Paul Michael Glazer's Starsky made the show a cultural phenomenon. Soul also had a successful music career, with hits like Don't Give Up On Us, 1976, and Silver Lady, 1977, both of which topped the charts in the UK. Beyond Starsky and Hutch, Soul appeared in numerous films and television shows, including Magnum Force, 1973, and Here Comes the Bride, 1969-1970. In his later years, he focused more on stage work and humanitarian causes, becoming an advocate for various social issues. David Soule passed away in London at age 80, leaving behind a legacy as both a beloved TV star and a successful recording artist. Today, breaking news, Henry Winkler, the beloved American actor best known for his iconic role as The Fonz on Happy Days, 1974-1984, has been the subject of recent death rumors, but as of 2024, he is alive. These rumors, which circulated on social media, have no basis in fact, and Winkler continues to be active in both his career and public life. Winkler's portrayal of the cool, leather jacket-wearing Arthur Fonzarelli made him a household name in the 1970s. Beyond Happy Days, Winkler has enjoyed a diverse acting career, starring in comedies like Scream, 1996, and The Waterboy, 1998, and more recently in the acclaimed HBO series Barry, 2018-2023, for which he won an Emmy Award. In addition to acting, Winkler is an accomplished director, producer, and author, having co-written a successful series of children's books. He remains a beloved figure in Hollywood, known for his kindness and dedication to philanthropy.